Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing bowel sounds and how to accurately assess bowel sounds, how to do it on the stomach exactly, and what those sounds mean. In this video, I again am pulling out this t-shirt and this time I actually drew the intestines and the stomach on here and all four quadrants so you could see how to accurately assess these bowel sounds. So let's get started. All right, so like I said, there are four quadrants of the abdomen, being the right upper quadrant, right lower quadrant, left upper quadrant, and left lower quadrant. All of these quadrants have different areas of the intestines in them and different organs in those quadrants. And before I get started, let me just say, I know the heart that I drew is off center. It's over to the left. I know that, but really it should be middle of my chest. But that's not what we're talking about. So let's get down to the intestines. Okay, like I said, you have your four quadrants. Standing in anatomical position, this is the right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, right lower quadrant, and left lower quadrant. This is the stomach, this is your large intestine, the lighter purple, and all of this darker purple is the small intestine. So it is so important to know those four quadrants. When you are assessing your patient's bowel sounds, you will want to auscultate. So listen with your stethoscope first before you do your palpation and your percussion. When you are listening to them, you are actually going to start in the right lower quadrant, move to the right upper quadrant, then over to the left upper quadrant, and lastly, move down to the left lower quadrant because that is how your food is being digested. You always go from where it starts and then over to where it ends out the bottom. Okay, now let's talk about the findings that you hear from these intestines. An accurate assessment of the intestines for a nurse to perform is listening to each quadrant. This is each quadrant from three to five minutes. Hypoactive bowel sounds mean you only are hearing one gurgle or one gush in five minutes. So to chart that the patient has hypoactive bowel sounds, you have to listen to a full five minutes and only hear one sound. Hyperactive bowel sounds, you will be able to tell what is hyperactive. That typically appears before a blockage. And normal bowel sounds, what I was told in nursing school, is anywhere from 13 to 15 sounds within three minutes. So make sure you are not falsely charting a hypoactive bowel sound because a lot of people I have seen do do that. But that is it for today's video, guys. I will see you in tomorrow's video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, see ya.